What is up you guys? It is your boy Brenton Biggis here and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Fortnite shotgun tier list. Now, there are a couple things I want to mention before we get into today's video. Um, but obviously one would be liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Two, uh if I do if my hair looks a little different and my chin looks different, it's because uh my mom just uh cut my hair, so that's why I look completely different. And three um, the reason why, we're going to actually have a series now, specifically on Fortnite weapons, which I did Fortnite Seasons, now we're going to be doing Fortnite weapons, and we're going to eventually get to Fortnite events, and I think that would probably be it, I would say, so, I know we're probably going to be talking about, um, some of the, some funny moments, maybe, or something like that, but anyway, let's get, let's actually just get into the freaking video um we're gonna start off with just going in order by this tier list uh the charge shotgun so before i guess we should also rank all these things we're gonna have obviously tiers and also my opinion um of the guns so we have s tier which are like basically perfect shotguns in my opinion a great shotguns b good shotgun c mid d okay or bad or f terrible and should not be picked up. Now, there are a couple criteria. One, is this weapon balanced? Two, is this weapon fun to use? And three, um, how overpowered is it? So, it's basically balanced and how much fun did I have going against it or, or having it. It's basically what it is. Then you got to start off obviously with the charge shotgun. Um, there are multiple variants, so I'm going to probably just say this is the gray to gold one. Um, I, I, I gotta put this on D. It is very lackluster. I just did not have a lot of fun with it. I kind of just missed it. The, um, the, the pump, not going to lie with you. And honestly, if you threw this in zero builds, this would probably be a terrible weapon to use in my opinion. Uh, the Thunder Shotgun, aka the Thunder Clap Shotgun, in my opinion. I put this at C. It's Fortnite basically saying, hey, you wanna, you wanna pop shotgun? Well, go kill yourself, because we're gonna rip off it again. Um, uh, it's, it's not bad, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not the greatest shotgun to use. And also, going with him at C tier, we got the Chapter 3 version of the Heavy Shotgun. This heavy shotgun is miles better than what the original one is. And it's also in multiple tiers and it's actually have more longer range and also has tight spreads which can either be a hit or miss depending on the person. And I think it's a pretty fun gun to go up against because you either can get clapped or you could just get W's. Then we got the striker pump shotgun. Um I'll put this at B tier. This was Fortnite's first attempt of actually, like, trying to replace the pump, and obviously it did not start it off well with, obviously, the spray mana. And it didn't end it really well, and honestly, there really hasn't been a good shotgun to replace the pump, except one which I'll have to talk about later. But it's just, like, it was not a good start, and you kind of can blame it a little bit with the striker pump shotgun. Then we have the OG pump. I don't even think this is even a question on a, my mind. I am putting this straight up in S tier. Perfect shot gun to go up against. Sometimes can be pretty annoying, but such a fun gun to have. It's, I don't know what else I have to say. The Heist Exotic he Maven Auto. So we're including Exotics and Mythics, obviously. This is one of the more annoying guns I have ever had to gun against, but it is extremely fun and unique. So therefore, I will put it in B tier because of it. It was fun to use. It's definitely like one of the more faster fire rate shotguns in the game. But I am very annoyed that it's an OG reload. But this is a very, very fun shotgun that shoots extremely fast. I just wish it wasn't, well, exotic. Because that means you basically only get one per game. Then you have a ripoff version of the attack. Which is what we literally just talked about. It's worse. The Maven Auto Shotgun, Gray through Legendary. Uh, I'm gonna put it in, um, people might disagree with me here, but I'm gonna put it in D, above the Chart Shotgun, obviously. Just, 
I haven't been great fans of the tap shotguns and the ripoffs. They can be either completely overpowered, like the Frenzy Auto or the Drum Shotgun buffed, or they could be kind of just not great, which is kind of the main and out And that's one of the bigger issues. And with the other shotgun, which we'll talk about later, being basically better and I feel like a more balanced version of what an auto shotgun can be, it is pretty just, yeah, to me. Mayship shotgun. Uh, the only reason, the only thing that this per gun has purpose for is to be replaced. Because of the crafting system. Enough said. Two shot shotgun. This is also going to go into the D tier, but I think it is better than the charged shotgun in my personal opinion. It's just like, it's just not a fun gun to use, and it, it's a unique shotgun, but it, it, nothing else. Just really nothing else with that gun. The, ex, I think this is the exotic, is this the exotic version? No, this is the original double barrel. The double barrel, I'm going to put in C. Um, it's not really balanced. I think if it actually came back in the loop pool, and if you actually knew how to hit your shots, I'm actually going to put it in the bottom C. You could easily kill people, even in zero builds. And it's stupid about that. So that's kind of why I don't really like this gun. I mean, it's fun to use, and I like the fact you have to literally be close to them to even have that even count, but it's, it, it's such a basically hate-or-miss gun, but when it hits, it is super, super annoying. And then we have the Heist Exotic Heavy Shotgun. This can also go in the F tier, I guess, because... This is one of my opinion the worst shotguns to use if it's not above the it's above rarity of legendary. Because this shit like I'm not, I'm gonna just say it. It's ass. I don't really enjoy it. Then you have in the mythic charge shotgun. I'll put this honestly in B tier, probably the lower of B tier. The reason why I put it below B tier or the, the lower B tier is because of one, it's a charge shotgun. I don't not like the charge shotgun. And two it was kind of balanced. I also like the fact that they give, if when you pair that with the kit's launcher, that is actually pretty good. So I kind of like it because of that. But outside of that, it's just, it's, again, it's just a better version of the charge shotgun. Then we have the tap shotgun. And I think without a doubt, we are putting this in also S tier because I don't really have anything else to say. It's a freaking OG shotgun. I don't know what else they have to say. Alright. Right? Then we got the Ranger Shotgun. One of the more interesting shotguns. This shotgun has one bullet. It has very good range. Fast reload speed. It does a lot of damage. I think this is one of the most balanced guns. And I think I will put it in A tier. This gun is like you either miss your shot and you're dead. Or you hit your shot and you're probably going to win the fight. That's what's so interesting about this gun. And that's why I was so ha so interested to see this coming into the game. Then we have the Havoc Pump Shotgun. This is um, easily, in my opinion, going to the bottom D tier. It is arguably a fight, in my opinion, and this is the only reason why it's not an F. Uh, actually above average shotgun in terms of the pump department. I guess maybe besides... Um, maybe some others but the havoc shotgun is so overpowered i really hope that this does not come back because this was one of those shotguns that were super infuriating to go up against not only that you could just use it as a pump but you also can use it as a tap which is a bit op and that's why therefore i just was not interested with the shotgun then you have the most unique shotgun, I think, in my opinion, in here, the Ever Chrome Shotgun. And that's why it's going to S tier, the, the bottom of S tier. Though. The Ever Chrome Shotgun, it, it, I'll say this again, I would love to see something like this, where you upgrade your gun while doing damage to people. Like, this just sounds like such a unique idea of a gun, so that's why I kind of wish that it could come back, and unfortunately it doesn't. The Auto Shotgun will also go to A tier as well, below the Ranger. The reason why I'm putting it this high is because this is the best version of an auto shotgun you can possibly can. At first, it wasn't that good, but then it got buffed and it quickly came actually noticeable. Then we got 
the uh, OG version of the combat. There are multiple versions of the combat, so I'm going to start off with the OG version. The OG version, looking back and how just OP it kind of was, I'm going to put it in the top of D tier. It's just like, again, I, you're starting to see a common theme here. I am not the biggest man of overpowered auto shotguns. They're just not fun, and they're very annoying. Uh, then we, speaking of auto shotguns, we have the, I think this is the beginning? This is, yeah, this is the first drum shotgun. This I will put up in the bottom of B tier. The only reason why I'll put it in the bottom of B tier, because it wasn't the greatest when it was launched, but actually I'll put it above the mythic charge. It wasn't the greatest when it came out, and it kind of was like, again, same thing with the double barrel, where you have to kind of get in their face for it to even work. But it's just like, it was just such a weird shotgun, and also the reload speed was terrible. So. Then we get to one of my favorite shotguns to talk about, the Black Dragon Shotgun, F. I, I don't even have all much to say about the shotgun. Now, the people who say this is shotgun good is a liar. You get one bullet with it, and it has a high spread, and you expect to kill people with it. Did I forget to mention if you're boxed in a wooden plank, you're most likely gonna die? Did I forget to mention that? Yeah, I think I didn't mention that. This is the only shotgun you could actually die to, not because it's bad. Because it could kill yourself. Which is weird. Because no shotgun's ever done that before, and that's what takes the cake. Then we got the prime shotgun. Um... I guess I'll put it in the high C tier. It was just like, I didn't really play it when it kind of came out, and I just wasn't the biggest fan. I, it's, it, again, auto shotgun, but like, one bullet does more damage than the other. Just weird of concept. Dub shotgun. F. I think it's even slightly better, though, than the Black Dragon shotgun. This shotgun is supposed to be a shotgun that hits them in the face. What does this shotgun do? Shoot you away from them. Why is this even a concept? The only point this thing had any fun to it was when you were high up in the air and spamming your shotgun and then killing the last enemy. That was the only point you actually had any meaningful thing about this gun. So that's why I just don't see why people think that this shotgun is actually that good. Um, so we only got like a few left actually. We have the lever action shotgun. I'll put this actually in the top of B tier. Very well balanced. I think a lot of people hate on this shotgun a bit too much, which is very surprising to me. So I think it doesn't really have a lot else I have to say. This is a very, very decent shotgun. In my opinion. So with us almost getting to the end of the list, we actually now have the the prime shotgun. Now, unfortunately, they don't actually show you like which one. So, I'm going to just say this shotgun as the prime of it, aka when this gun was freaking broken. And I don't even think this is even a question. I will put this thing in the... I'm going to put it in the top of D tier. It was fun to use because, well, it was like a shotgun that was good, but you kind of chapter two during the time you had the pump not being in the game and the pump being in the game, so it kind of was weird. So it was kind of nice to have like a shotgun like this, but this thing was broken as hell. Even when it got nerfed, this thing was broken, and that's the only reason why I kind of had to put it up here. Or down here, I meant to say. Um, this shotgun, Chapter 4, Season 4, one of those shotguns, not the wood stick one, I really don't know how to write this one, so I'll just put it in bottom of S because I don't really have a lot to say because I wasn't really playing that much with that. The Wood State Shotgun, actually I think this shotgun was really good for the Halloween event, right? I think it was? I don't remember. Uh, I'll put it though in the bottom of like C I guess. Like, it's not terrible. It's also actually an auto shotgun but again a pretty cool Halloween shotgun. It's not like anything like Oh my god, I would have, I would love to use this shotgun. No, it, it, it's 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 not. Crazy. Then, man of the hour. The drum shotgun. The now drum shotgun. Okay, this is not even a question. I'm going to put this in the top of the F tier. 
The only reason why was because it was kind of fun at first, but then it's like, holy shit, this thing is OP. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna kidding with you. This kind of was one of the only reasons of why I did not like Chapter Season 2, was because of the spray mana. And this thing had a toll of it, so I really didn't like that. Then we have the OG Heavy Shotgun, which this will also be going in F below its counterpart, the Exotic, and even the Mace Shift. The reason why I say this is because, honestly, looking back and playing OG Reload Fortnite, it's like, wow, this shotgun sucks. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding with you. Like, the Great Pump does more damage than the shotgun. A Great Pump. At its goal rarity, I don't even think there's a much else to say. Um, then we got the Chapter 5 Pump Shotgun. Um, I guess it's like in the middle of C, I guess. I'll put it below Chapter 3's Shotgun. Uh, Chapter 3 Heavy Shotgun. I just don't really have much to say about this gun. Because I just don't really have much to say. The Frenzy Auto, this is not the Mythic version, not including it, so... But, I, I honestly am both basically gonna put it where it, where it should, which I think is gonna be F tier. The Mythic version just being below it because it's overpowered as hell. Then you have the Mythic version of the Pump shotgun for Chapter 5, and honestly I'm gonna put this one in B. I really like this shotgun. I like this version, not unlike the other ones, which suck. That's why I think I'm gonna keep it right there. Then we got the Gatekeeper shotgun. I think this is a pretty underrated shotgun, and I feel like a lot of people just underestimate it. So therefore, I kind of want to put this in the bubble C. Then you get the Mythic version, which I'm gonna just put in D tier because it's kind of weird and funky, weird funky. So yeah, I'll put it in the top though with D. So that is basically it for today's video. Um, again, I'll also show you the guys the list. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing it very well. Um, sorry about this, but uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.